Okay, there we go. Run one in the books for today. Uh, going to the, into the gym now, and just so you know, if you're following the training down in the description, I was gonna go five this morning, ended up going six. Why? Because I feel great. I had two, uh, two days over the weekend, back to back, nice and easy. So I felt good, so I decided to tack on an extra mile. So the description of my training down below every vlog it's malleable. If I feel good, I'm gonna go a little further, a little faster, just a little bit. If I don't feel good, if the legs don't feel good, I'll go a little less as far as volume and a little slower, all right? So it's all, it's all by feel. I'm not, I definitely don't lock in my training like into, uh, in, into stone or concrete. I'm willing to let it breathe a little bit, again, depending on how I feel, okay? Let's go get this, let's go get this workout on. Second run action, here we go, taking out, oh yeah, the glide rides. Haven't worn these in a long time. I don't know, I think it was December actually. So, uh, and I'm probably gonna pick up a second pair. There's a Tokyo Olympics edition that is red and white, I believe. So I have my eye on those, but I just, uh, you know how much I love these shoes and they work for my gait cycle, for my foot strike. So there's a good chance you'll be seeing another version. Although, because I just, uh, the second iteration, I don't think it's going to come out until, uh, I would suspect, like July or August. So I just don't, I don't think I can wait that long. So anyway, here we go. And it also means we're starting to pick up the pace a little bit. This has a little more snap than some other middle distance and long run shoes that I own. All right, here we go. Nothing like getting back from a 16 mile run to some fresh muffins. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Chocolate chip. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the uh <laughs> sometimes the most available space in the home is the kitchen. So that's where we're that's where we're getting our groove on today. Get our groove on, everyone. Oh, my, my, everyone. We are just in waiting mode for baby. Left this on. Okay. 
So I need to be very efficient with my time today. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go into the studio to talk about marathon training week six. Instead, we're gonna do it right here as I multitask with some foam rolling and stretching and all that good stuff. So perfect. That's what I want. Good. You guys go. We got a pack of wolves here. Although I did just teach Seth how to focus on my face using the touch screen on the back of the camera. So training, training the next generation. All right, so here we go. Two runs today, morning run, six miles. I think it was about, well, I'll put it on the screen right now. I think it was about 8.30 a mile approximately, maybe 8.40. And then this afternoon, so, and I did that run in the Skechers Go Run Ride 8, um, my easy day shoe. And I'm enjoying that shoe uh, quite a bit, you know, a little, craziness, a little bit of swimming through the toe box as well, kind of like the Asics Evo ride of yesterday's run. And then the second run this afternoon in Denver, which I decided not to film. I just, uh, I need to be a little expeditious today. Getting things done uh, was 16 miles, about 655 approximately per mile. I'll have to check Strava here in a little bit. There it is on your screen in, as I mentioned, at the park bench in the Asics glide ride, a throwback shoe to 2019. And uh, treated me well once again. They're definitely a heavy, I must say, like I felt it about mile, about mile 12. So, you know, about three quarters of the way through where my legs were like, okay, I feel the weight of this shoe a little bit. All right, found a, found a quieter location. That is good. Take a quick drink of water. And uh, yes, this is my little editing. I think I've shown this to you before. My little editing station, a little standing desk. Shout out to, uh, Shout out to Ikea for the uh, standing desk that I created here in my corner. Uh, some lights, holds the computer, a few running shoes, you know the drill, you know the drill. All right, everyone, so that's what I uh, was, so hold on, the camera's falling. Uh, that's what I said about week six was that it was a critical week of training because it was really the first bigger volume week in this 14 week training block. And I survived. Not only did I survive, I would say that I thrived because of how my legs feel without a lot of vertical gain mixed into my training right now, I must say the legs feel great. So great that I'm able to do those dynamic plyometric exercises in the gym. Like I wasn't even coming close to, to that type of agility and explosion last fall getting ready for Amsterdam. Basically, cause I, I mean, I would, I'll just say it. Like, I think my legs were tired and they were, doing, they were doing a lot of climbing up in the mountains, which I love doing but the mountains are chock full of snow right now so it's a little difficult to get up there and i don't want to leave cell phone service you know why that is the case so therefore i'm keeping it pretty flat and just steady like today's second run steady that 16 mile steady run um and that's going so transitioning into week six is going to be a little more of the same volume continues to climb we're getting closer actually craziness 13 days from today is halfway through the training block that that's I can't it's uh, I can't I don't even know what to say so um later this week probably though next week because I have a suspicion this little Henry is going to show up sooner rather than later so I, I suspect early next week probably like Monday Tuesday or Wednesday I will integrate in hold on I will integrate in the first tempo run so 615 a mile the first tempo run of the 14 week training block. So that'll be week seven. But week six is more of the same. A couple more steady runs instead of steezy. And uh, oh yeah, so for next week, the tempo runs, I will either take out most likely not the Zoom Fly 3. Great shoe, a little heavy, and I wasn't crazy about the upper on the Zoom Fly 3. Most likely either the Evo ride from yesterday's vlog, the Kinvara 11 from Saucony, or the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel, a throwback to 2000. And 19. I might take out the fuel cell rebel just because I was unable to run in it very much last year. So week six marathon training. Sorry, the tripod is not positioned very well in here. Uh, week six marathon training uh, is go it's it's all listed down below. And one well maybe a couple more points. One last point is that I'm probably gonna uh, load a little more volume early in the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because again I suspect this little guy is gonna be arriving sooner rather than later which means, as you know, sleep is going to go way down for a couple, at least, a couple days, at least a couple weeks. So, you know, I got to factor that into life and training as well. 
And then uh, what else about week six? Yeah, just adding in more dynamic plyometric work as we march on. All right, everyone. So I'm excited. It's nothing crazy yet. You know, no fast workouts, no uh, threshold runs. Uh, same old, same old as far as long runs and steady runs and steezy runs. Uh oh, where's Mama's? Oh, you got yours. Okay. Perfect. No, you're good. All right, so it's a marathon training week six. Unbelievable. And I forgot to tell the YouTube family that the volume for this week, this is what, remember I said, I, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Uh, this week, the volume goal is 100 to 110. Okay. So that range, depending, of course, yeah. on baby yeah. Henry, oh, right? Well, and you. seeing uh, when he arrives, you know, thank we'll just you. be flexible. Yeah. Um, okay. But I'm curious, are there any f of your friends out there yep. that wonder what the heck is Seth doing out there running so much? Yeah. What what do they what do they say? They're all asking. Well, they're first of all they love you, and everybody's well, always you know saying to tell you hi. But they're just like, how does he do it? How, what's his mileage per week? What's the volume? How does he get the mileage in? How does does you, they ask a lot about your food? Like, do you uh -huh. eat a lot more? Mm -hmm. Does the volume go up a lot? And then I bring. Somebody was asking about sleeping. Uh huh. You know, like, does do you need to sleep more? Yeah. And they love. They want to know like what your goal is for your time. Nice. They want to know, um, I guess the mom's not as much, but some of the dads are like, what shoes you're going to wear. Nice. And what watch, else? Watch the channel. I know, I'm like, funny you should ask. <laughs> funny. Funny you should <laughs> I ask have somewhere shoes. to send you. Um, what else have they asked? Well, they, they want to know, like, when's your next race? Yeah. Where is it at? Yeah. Um, That's perfect. No, Sophie, you're going to keep yours in there because you got a little pop. Question of the day, everyone. What is a interesting mm -hmm. or unique... Uh, <laughs> question that you have received maybe it's from a family member or a friend through the grapevine as to your running and training regimen that's maybe like what the heck is this person doing what are they doing what are they doing out they there say, is it crazy is it crazy <laughs> uh so that's the question of the day tell us a good story down in the comments and that's the vlog everyone week six baby we're signing off week six six marathon training in the books so it's gonna be good all right everyone we're gonna toss it back on the right to the last week's week five marathon training vlog that'll be on the right and then the and then yeah that's right michael and then on the left we'll toss it back to the a6 evo ride yesterday's first impression video amen all right seek beauty work hard and love each other we'll see you tomorrow